I mean, if you change practice, aren't you, in essence, changing doctrine? Absolutely. Well, people act on the basis of what you teach them. If you teach them that mortal sin deprives you of communion, then you don't go to communion. Now, if you say you can go to communion, what you're teaching them is, well, adultery is no longer a mortal sin. Uh, Cardinal Casper and others have said we're trying to change practice, not doctrine. That's a complete dodge. Uh, let's be clear about what's happening here. Mm -hmm. This is a revolutionary movement that Cardinal Casper has been pushing for more than 30 years. It was slapped down by Cardinal Ratzinger and Pope St. John Paul II. It's resurrected. It's really a destructive thing. And I can't, get, I can't speak more strongly because, unfortunately, the message doesn't seem to be getting into the heads of people. What Cardinal Casper proposes is unacceptable. There is no room for it in the mm -hmm. church. Bill Donahue, how big a deal will this and be? And I can only say, well, I think it's a very big deal because it's the way things are interpreted. And we know that those people, for example, on the progressive side, so to speak, are going to take this and run with it. And just how far are they going to go? And that creates, again, the kind of confusion which leaves a lot of late Catholics just nodding, you know, what's going on here? We were getting one set of signals from one side, another set of signals from the other side. Sure, there's got to be some room for, for, for mis you know, for people to interpret. But when you get to the kind of situation what we, we've we seen already, uh, I, I think uh, it's going to create a lot of problems, and I think it's unnecessary. Robert Royal, last Look, word in this yeah, segment. I think we just have to say openly that w w what we're talking about is giving communion to people who are in a sexual relationship with somebody they're not married to. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a very hard thing, as Father keeps insisting, to square with Catholic uh, teaching mm -hmm. and the, word, the plain words of our Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the Pope is trying to reach out to these divorced and remarried people. He says uh, it's, it's awful that they can't distribute communion and they can't be lectors and uh, you know, several other things, and they're de facto excommunicated. Godparents. But I think what we have to say about this is even if the doctrine remains the doctrine, what people think the doctrine now is. Uh, immediately after the announcement on the, the second Monday in the, uh, the Synod that uh, we should be re re you know, welcoming toward gays, my own daughter said to me that some of her friends were very happy because it looked like the Pope was saying that homosexuality is okay now. So that's the teaching, whatever the, uh, the, the, whatever the real teaching is, that's the effective teaching that begins to be present in public. Okay, we'll leave it there, and it's going to be quite a, a ride to watch as that Synod on the Family rolls out next year. When we